Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing a couple items from Curls and Potions. The ingredients were pretty good so I was just following them on Instagram and then they happened to have a pretty decent sale. So they had 40% off on this bundle so I decided to get it and try it so here we are. <laughs> I got this curling jelly which although it says jelly it's actually a more of a cream and curling potion styling gel. So I posted on Instagram that I really like that some of the proceeds went towards breast cancer patients and breast cancer research. I like that I got really fast shipping within two days. The packaging is really cute and the, you know, the fun things I got with the package was really cute. So I got like a product guide showing all of their products with like a really cute naturalista on the cover and a little thank you note and everything just with these two items. And they had, I believe, flat rate shipping, so I only paid $4 to get both of these within two days. Bubble wrapped and everything, so no leaks and cracks and everything. So I was really happy with that. I guess we can start with the curling jelly. So this is what I used first. So it did say it could be used as a leave-in sort of. It just said apply to slightly damp or wet hair. It said it could be used over a light leave-in for softer hold or with the curling portion over it for firmer hold. I did this section without using a leave-in. I just used the curling jelly as my leave-in, which is a cream. <laughs> and then I used the curling portion. But my hair just really wasn't getting enough moisture with that. So I abandoned that idea and then went to my old faithful Sultanical Slip and Slide Nut Proof Hair Glide for the rest of my hair to use before I started using the cream. Basically, I applied the Sultanical sleeve in, my hair was moisturized, the slip was nice, definition was good, things were going really well. And then I put this curling jelly over it. So I would say the curling jelly does give you a nice definition, a nice soft hold. The moisture was a little bit under par, so it wasn't as moisturizing as I would like, but it wasn't drying. And the same thing with the slip, it wasn't, whoo, this is great slip, but it wasn't, where's the slip? So the slip was slightly under par and the moisture was slightly under par. The definition was good, definitely great definition and great hold. You can tell it has a little bit of gelling ingredient in it. It has some cellulose gum and you can definitely tell. I'll probably use this again and without the gel over it and see what I think about it. So I guess first impressions and still unsure. But if you look at the ingredients, the ingredients are really nice, of course, because <laughs> I only deal in really nice ingredients, or mostly. So I'm getting a bit of a weird shine. I think this, this, the packaging is pretty reflective as well, but let me see if I can slowly roll this for you. <laughs> it has a nice smell too. It's a light, nice, sweetish, perfumey scent. So this is the texture. It is just a cream. It doesn't feel sticky, tacky, anything. It just feels like, you know, it's on there moisturizing. So I'll definitely give this a try without the gel and then let you know. So take a look at my hair with the sultanicals on it and then me applying this jelly and just take a look at how that worked out for me. So the next part I'm going to show you is the curling portion. So unfortunately this had less moisture and less slip than the curling jelly. It didn't seem like it would be drying but it didn't add any moisture. My hair doesn't feel dry but it doesn't feel moisturized. It's just slightly under par which kind of ties 
messing with how it felt going on like just slightly under par in terms of moisture that's how my hair feels now this curling portion made my hair feel slightly stiff like it's not super crunchy but it's just slightly stiff and I like my hair to be super soft and touchable so I definitely would not repurchase this it does have flaxseed high in the ingredients let me show you let me see if I can work it out I'm not sure what went wrong in terms of moisture because the ingredients are somewhat moisturizing. Maybe just not enough of those things. But flaxseed gel on the whole makes my hair crunchy. I want to do a video about why I stopped making flaxseed gel that's coming up. But seeing flaxseed so high up, it was already kind of a warning sign that my hair would have been kind of crunchy. And it is kind of crunchy. I mean, it's not super crunchy, but salt and moisturizer is like my main thing. So it is a little frizzy as well. As you can see but first it's not here it's here nor there for me if it was soft and moisturized but it's not horrible I don't hate how my hair looks and I can rock this I have a short week as well I have to do my hair again Friday my hair isn't shiny like my hair is normally shinier than this so I wouldn't say it gave me shine it mentioned shine here it it has a DIY scent it smells like the ingredients to me it doesn't smell like any cover scent added over it. So this is the texture of it if you can see that. Very little slime, a little bit but not that much slime to it. If you like something snotty like say Camille Rose or you like something kind of jelly or solid like Eco Styler, it's not like that, it's just has a very light tack. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. Um, really gonna leave more crunch in my life but Take a look at how the gel um, went on and how it looked wet. So that's it and this is the result. My hair is just slightly not moisturized, slightly stiff, slightly crunchy. Um, I blame the gel. <laughs> I'll definitely retry this and probably let you know in my fall stash review if any miracles happened or if I found some way of using it that I really love. So that was it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know if you've tried this line or if you were thinking about trying them. I would say still give them a try, especially this one if you're curious. Thanks for watching yet another product review on Trinigo Natural. See you in the next one. Bye.